Hello everyone, this is Harley from GarnFL and today we are going to be planting a chupa chupa seedling also known as Quara abia cordata and also this is called South American sapote but in Colombia we just call it sapote but a lot of people here call it chupa chupa but anyways I'm going to be planting a seedling here at my house now this is a seedling that I actually grew from the grow bag I actually do have seedlings here that I planted from seed that have actually been growing a little slower than these but I've noticed that these have been getting a little bit of salt burn or something from my well so I decided you know what I'm going to plant some in the ground here and uh, I did pick a space for this that is actually going to be like really ornamental here in my yard if it does uh, you know grow really big and they do make really good shade plants so overall I just really want them for the foliage because it reminds me honestly of Colombia where we have our farm so I do have a really big sapote tree there so I really hope this one grows so I'm actually planting it right here next to this big oak tree so this will support it as kind of like um, kind of like a microclimate for it now I also do have other things here like uh, some certain palms and you know bananas so it will have like a little microclimate around it as it grows and if I need to I will create like a little uh, greenhouse or build like a you know something around it in the winter time so here's where I'm gonna plant it actually I already dug a hole and like I said right here in this spot it's actually really good in this area so I'm gonna be planting it right over here here we have a better look at the chupa chupa seedling and as you see I'm gonna be planting it right here now actually there's a plant right here that I gotta move I've actually heard that sapote likes to be in a little uh, shade when they're younger when they're growing. So this spot is perfect because it does get a little bit of morning sun and it does get a afternoon shade, but it does get some, you know, some good sun too. So this will be perfect as this grows. So we're actually going to be taking this sapote out of its grow bag. And if you're wondering where I got these grow bags, because a lot of people have been asking me, <laughs> I actually brought these back with me from Colombia. Um, we just have a local nursery nearby and they sell these in abundance. So I just bring, every time I visit, I always bring a few hundred back with me because they work really good. So, But I want to see if I can source them here in, in Florida because I couldn't find any online. But anyways, I really want to open this without damaging the taproot because the taproot is important. You don't want to damage that. And so something else about this plant, the sapote is in Florida, there's actually been people who have flowered and fruited it in South Florida, so in Miami area. And I do have other people who've told me theirs have died in 40 degree weather. And, uh, you know, but believe it or not, when I received these seedlings, it was in December time and it was really cold here in Florida. And nonetheless, they sprouted, they were already growing some of them. So these have made it through the, the, a pretty bad portion of the winter here already. And uh, look at them, they're still thriving. So I, and nonetheless, I am, I am gonna do protection in the winter time. Like I said, greenhouse, whatever, whatever need be. I might put some uh, Mexican sunflower on this guy. Lemongrass, oh, I see the, the roots. Wow, look at these beautiful roots. So even if I can't even fruit this one in Bradenton, I still really want to grow for the foliage and I'm just really looking forward to, to growing this one right here. It has a really good spot and the soil here is really good too. It's really rich because uh, the oak on top of it always drops its leaves over the years and it just takes care of it, the soil. So we are just going to give it some rainwater now and hopefully this will help it too with the brownings on, t on the tips. So the brownings on the leaves, what you see is just uh, well damage. I believe is because uh, there's certain elements in the well, maybe too much salt because I'm near the ocean, that uh, affects the plants when I water them with the well. And you can tell that the seedling uh, took a little damage, but no worries, it'll grow out a bit. Because with all the rain, this rainy season too that's coming up, it's gonna look really good. I'm just gonna water in well. And I know this plant's gonna be so happy to actually be able to grow and expand its roots. Get one, get a second one. So here's a sapote seedling overall, and it has a good spot. 
and I'm just really looking forward to seeing it grow. So we'll see how it grows out of this uh, these tips right here, but it should be fine overall. As you see, it's already starting to branch out and look like the support the branches. If you ever seen a mature tree, it does this uh, branching form, so it's just really cool to already see it, you know, going on.